34 weeks pregnant and I just gave birth to my third baby boy. <laughs> it's so scary because uh, my water broke. Uh, I have, Technically, you just started bleeding like crazy. I just started bleeding and I, it just started to gush out. I'm so tired. And uh, luckily it didn't take too long. It just took three pushes and the baby was out. And I'm about to have some breakfast. My omelet. <laughs> I don't even feel like eating. I'm just, I'm really tired. Good job. 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 Good <gasps> oh my god. Oh. Congratulations. Okay, we're gonna go see the baby now. Gotta go to the NICUs. This is our life for like three four more weeks, honey. Came and chatted with you, correct? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's not true. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me put him down where you guys can see him again. You want to stand up here? Yeah. Poor baby. Not crying loud like he was earlier. Hey guys, so it's still March 30th. It's like 11 o'clock. I've been up since 3 a.m. this morning. So I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm more alive earlier. I think I was still drugged up when I was talking and I just did not make sense. So basically I have was feeling contractions and very uh, like big, uh, strong tightening around my stomach and cramps like in my lower abdomen that didn't really feel natural. So it started around 3:18. It woke me up, and I, um, I don't know. I just, I would, I didn't feel normal, so I waited it out, and I thought that maybe because I was just cooking all day or on my feet, so it made me tired, and I just wanted to wait it out because 34 weeks is too early to give birth. Um, you know, they're not, they're still preemie, so I um, googled all this stuff and read. What is a real contraction? What is the difference between a real one and a, and a like Braxton Hicks? And I really didn't get my answer what I needed because I was just feeling like the contraction was lasting a really long time, like eight minutes. But they said that contraction would last like a couple minutes and um, then short intervals it will come like again short, quickly. But I felt like it was coming in uh, pretty quick but lasted a long time so that didn't really answer my question and then I couldn't stand it anymore about 4 15 I woke Don up because I uh, felt that it wasn't feeling better I was still hurting and I was still trying to just hold in the pain so he asked how far along the contractions and 
So fine, I didn't time it, so I said, okay, I guess I'll start timing it. So once I start timing it, uh, and if anything happens, then maybe I'll just wake him back up. So I told him to go back to sleep. So he laid back down to go to sleep, and he trusted my, you know, intuition of my body. And when I laid on to my side, I was still hurting, so I was laying on to my side. I felt a, like a little uh, liquid coming out. Like, I, I already know what a water break feels like. So that's what it kind of felt like. It was just not coming out naturally. It was just thin and like drips. So I got up calmly and I woke down up and I said, honey, it's time to go. My water broke. So when I went to go change, um, I had a bloody show and it was very scary because my water broke with Carter, but it was a light pink water, like a tinge of pink in it. That's it. Not bloody. But this one was bloody, like straight up. So um, luckily I had, I didn't pack, any, I'm not prepared. I didn't pack a diaper, like I didn't pack a hospital bag. Don didn't pack anything. And then um, I got one of my recovery diapers, you know, like Depends adult diapers. So I told Don to get me that. I put it on because I was bleeding so much and uh, sat on a towel, went into the car and rushed to the hospital. And when I rushed to the hospital, they they checked me in right away. I didn't even register for the hospital yet. Okay. That's how unprepared I was. And when I got to the hospital, um, they, yeah, they let me in right away because of like I was bleeding and that possibly had um, either a placenta rupture and they weren't really sure like maybe the baby was pressing down on the cervix so much that it popped like a vein therefore that's why I was bleeding so they suggested that I get epidural right away and get numb so that if I have an emergency c-section at least I'll be awake for it and not just rolled out and asleep and do whatever that they need to do to take the baby out if the baby w was under stress but the baby was still fine heartbeat and everything was okay and then after I started getting more and more contractions and dilating um, they said okay let's just get, get ready to push so literally I pushed three pushes and the baby came out then when they took the placenta out they noticed that it had a tear in it so I basically had a placenta abruption. That was what it's called. Had I gone uh, later and not paid attention to my body again, I would have or could have bled to death and suffocated the baby. So I would have lost the baby and myself. Oh my goodness though. Um, that is another pregnancy scare. and. I I think I'm done. You guys document this too. Dawn, we're done. No more kids. No more kids. So, baby boy is in the NICU. We haven't really totally decided on the name yet. And, uh, yeah. So, Just pray for him, guys, okay? He's in the NICU. They say he's going to be there for like three to four weeks. Um, right now, they have some things in his umbilical cord so that they can give him antibiotics and IV because pricking him and everything wasn't working. His veins are too small and wiggly. And uh, he still isn't breathing on his own. Like He's breathing out of his mouth more and not out of his nose. And they need him to use his nose. So, you know... Hopefully he gets that down so that they can take the CPAP off of him so that I could see his precious face. And um, I'm going to try to get some sleep. And then if I see him again or, well, when I see him again, when I wake up and stuff, I'll, I'll come and show you guys and show you the process, the progress of uh, him. I mean, I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. We're in America, you know. <laughs> and uh, this hospital is really awesome and very sweet and oh, they just saved my life again this is the same hospital where I got the uh, fallopian tube removed 
so saved my life for the second time here. <laughs> Don went home to be with the big boys and uh, I'm just just relaxing trying to get some sleep and praying. Okay, I'll check in with you guys later. I love you. Hey, bye. And I'm Mama, I love you. Like, no, Mama, I love you. I love you. Okay, meow, Mama. Meow, Mama. <laughs>